this was really the moment that we at Middlesex ought to just gather together our expertise and engage with the public to see where we can get to on the topic of water. It is the source of life, isn't it? And, and when you track back through all these symbols, that's what you, what you get to. And it's also tied up, and because of that, with our civilizations, with all the things that we've accrued along the way of developing life. Well, we started off with the kind of symbolic um, resonance of water, uh, particularly uh, in regard to religious uh, rivers and religions and how different faiths invest the same kind of symbolism in the same piece of water, even though they're very different faiths. Well, of course, you know, some, for something like the Ganges, you know, that's is central to the Hindu belief structure. And of course, if you're if you're now if India now is a you know, a, a rapidly industrialising country, and with that comes pollution, and with that comes all the other things that you need to have. But at the same time, the Ganges isn't just something that's a bit religious, it is worship. It's the Mother Ganga, it's a, it's a significant part of, 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 of Hindu religious belief structure. It's important for the body, we need it for food production, we need it for, for the food we grow, we need it for everything that we do, we just need water. I'm told 90% 90, 90 of the human body is water. So water is vital to life, water is life. That, that then spreads off into geopolitics, and so that was a very good starting point for the day. And then we've moved on to think more about ecological issues, again, which has a very much of a political bias to it. Our biggest semi-natural habitat, one that provides more ecosystems, ecosystem services than just about any other ecosystem, is virtually invisible to us. If you can't see something, you can't value it. Equally, it means you don't know when you're damaging it. We, within the planet, we have water in such a wide variety of forms provided to us in such a wide variety of ways. And what we've been really good at is destroying those ways, abusing the water supplies that we, we receive. Um, and then what happens, because we rely on that water, is that it turns around and bites us. It's the differences between governments in different countries and different areas which made a difference between countries like Germany, which is at least 30 years ahead of England in water management, Toronto, which has made a very rapid change to sustainable water management, and London. So, you know, water is really, really an integral part of our life, and we need to, to, to look after it as a major resource and protect it, and to ensure that, you know, we pass it on to the next generation.